think this shit is true? Or you think this shit is cat? I think it's true. Paycheck, uh, paycheck, gas, rent. Yes, I think it's true. I think it's true. And like, uh, you gotta understand the comfortability of of certain people's lifestyles. So they they still live in the even though shit is going up, they still doing the same shit that they've been doing. You know what I'm saying? So they live in paycheck to paycheck. Credit card bills, there's more people putting shit, charging shit. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. But there was just a bunch of people not working during the pandemic. So now all of a sudden right back to working and it's paycheck to paycheck again. Yeah, and um there's a lot of people getting laid off too now. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people getting laid off in certain sectors. Amazon cutting jobs. A lot of places that was hiring and you know boom 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 after like coming out of the pandemic they cutting back because i seen some shit they say the ports are and they showed it like like a lot of our ports ain't as full with um cargo that's what i said do you think this go into like you think All this this down, day, or you think this kind of ties into the whole fall of america fall of the dollar all that Oh, you think this is common? It's been going on for 30 years. People living paycheck to paycheck type shit. Nah, I, I mean, it was a time, a point in time where people could stack and save. You know what I'm saying? If they're not saving, then they spending. You know what I'm saying? So it was a point in time, at one point in time, people could stack and save their bread. So if you ain't, you, you can't stack and you just got income keeping going out, it ain't, it's outcome then, basically. Outcome is broke. Or just like, I'm maintaining I don't got no extras. You know what I'm saying? See, that's the difference, though. Like, people like me and you, we know how to hustle. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to be, it's some people that don't got no, that all they complacent. It's complacent people and it's driven people. A complacent person is, is the 60% that's living paycheck to paycheck. They can place it. They this this off the comfortability. They exactly. don't want to like see the reason why I know what they have to. Huh? The reason why I couldn't do it is because I couldn't be locked in, like as far as like I get a check, right? And then that's the only money I get to my next check. So it's like now if if, if I'm getting a ten thousand dollar check every two weeks, different. You understand what I'm saying? But if I'm only getting fifteen hundred, two thousand, you know what I'm saying, whatever it is. Be, that's the part that's gonna have me. I don't live in the hood. That's the part that's gonna have me feeling like I'm. You feel me? Got, I'm got, a hustler though. Got, got shackles on my on my wrist, or something. Like that ain't. Yeah. A, I and I know Co Row don't live in the hood. Like I gotta be able to. It gotta be <laughs> a chance for me to get more. He's like, in the city and don't live in the hood. So, so, hey, locked in. I can't be locked into a a, a a set number like that. Yeah, you're right. Especially in the BX, they live in EBT to EBT. Hey, yo, my man has got a job, right? So he hit me like, yo, he got a job. And they giving out, like, phones and iPads to people they get EBT and shit. Like, and that's his job is to do that. So he hit me like, I was like, man, I don't got, I don't, I don't, I don't got, I don't get no, um, anything from the government. Man. I actually pay taxes. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I had a job, I'll be one of them niggas working overtime all the time. Like, I got to be able to make more money. I can't just be on a set number. You feel me? Like, I'll be hustling if I had a job. McDonald's or anything. I'm doing all the extra shifts, all that. Like, I got to make a bag. You feel what I'm saying? I gotta, my shit got to be different every week. More or less, a little bit less, more this week. Like, I can't be stuck on one price or for just 40 hours a week. It ain't going to work for me. I can't do it. I'm going to have to do something else. I'm from the K boogie down, man. I ain't from the X, man. But you could still have a hustler mentality with a job, though. You yeah, yeah, that's what I said. Like he said, I make 35 an hour MTA. That's still bull. OT, 56 an hour. Yeah. And MTA be having OT. They always calling for OT. Hey, yo, my nigga. I'm going to make $90 in an hour tomorrow. Yeah. It's $90 in one hour tomorrow, nigga. Mm -hmm. 
And then I'm it might be two hours you will make. You make 10, but it's the I'm, 10. And I mean, and it's one hour. You know what I'm yeah, saying? It's one contract. You make that. That's one contract with one hour's worth of work. $90. So, like I said, you got to figure, you know, you got to figure out what benefits you. Where you you got to idolize your time because, like I said, when you become an employee, you're on somebody else's. Your time don't belong to you. It belongs to the company. And them motherfuckers don't give a fuck about you. We've seen that numerous times. You know what I'm saying? So you got to think about how to use... Your time is for sale, bro. Your time is for sale. You got to negotiate what you are worth. Stop letting them motherfuckers negotiate what they think you worth. Yeah, 56 hour OT is good, bro. Yeah, 56 hour. Can too. See, like, yo, then you, then I'm going to tell you, they, they be fooling y'all with, yo, we're going to give you full benefits, you know, pension and um all that. You know, we're going to give you full benefits, pension, OT, sick days, health care, dental. You can pay for that shit yourself. 